Today on our show, we're gonna try some pumpkin beer. Hello everyone and welcome to Slapdash Spasmodic, a show that tries to be as random as the pumpkin spice craze, but alas, we have not made it yet. I'm your host, Stephen White, and with me on my beer series is my good friend, George Willard. Hi everyone. Now, as we just mentioned, it's October, yes. or at least it's about to be it's it's October. We'll just say it's October for your a few sake. Hours, yeah, but yeah. Um, Oktoberfest is a big type of beer, but we thought before we'd even delve into that that uh, the Marzins, as we we learned last time, uh -huh. we're going to touch on pumpkin beers, which seems to be a new popular craze along with pumpkin spice right. everything. Um, how are you feeling about this? <laughs> Not so good. Uh, I I don't like I don't like pumpkin flavoring, so this is going to be fun. So no, yeah. so no pumpkin spice anything. No, I like pumpkin pie. And That's see about the extent of it. Now, now we had that pumpkin discussion pie. On, on our last one. We had that same discussion. There was Katrina didn't like pumpkin spice, but she was more pumpkin pie. And hey, I can deal with pumpkin. Um, but we have a, a wide selection. I don't know if you can see them right here. But we're going to try each one just like we normally do, kind of give you our opinions. Uh, I had to go and, and choose, be a little bit choosier about these. Oh, by the way, before we even delve into that, because I just forgot. You'll notice that we're outside, and you're about to hear a car come down the road. That's awesome, and there's crickets and all this other noise. But we're doing this to kind of give you a nice atmosphere, something different, because it is fall. It's, it's, and it feels amazing it outside. Does. It does. It is amazing. It feels amazing out here. You hear these vehicles go down the road. It's too late for them to be going. They need to be going home. Go home. Go home. Yeah. Have a beer or six. Like we're, like we're doing. But anyway, back to the story. Uh, I tried to select beers that we, you don't normally see. There's probably going to be one or two that you could probably find at your local beer store uh, or supermarket, should I say. But uh, Beer store, how awesome would that be? I know. Yeah. But each one of these, I felt like, contained something that was unique. It, it brought something different. So hopefully we'll have different flavors, different styles. Maybe you'll actually enjoy one of these. I, I'm hoping so. Because so, I've always, every uh, one of these we've done, I found something that I really enjoy. So uh, hopefully I'll find a pumpkin flavored something. Okay. First we're going to start with this uh, tongue twister. Leining Kugels. Leining Kugel. Leining Kugel. I'm hoping it's German when I'm saying that. Uh, but Leining Kugel, this is a Harvest Pat Shandy. Ooh. And I learned that a Shandy... Is actually a mixture of beer and some other something like a soft drink or something really? like that. So, what this is mixed with? Maybe a pumpkin soda? I don't know, <laughs> but because uh, I didn't know. Well, we did try pumpkin soda. Haha. <laughs> oh. So, you know it exists. So that might be what this is. So we're going to load us up. I feel In like our, a giant. Do you remember these? See, George wasn't here for that, hey. and I wish we're going to get him in there next time we have a beer fest. It's going to be me and George. Because you saw how bad it got. I needed a backup. I needed a wingman. And not to say that Katrina did not, but you know, she's not much of a beer drinker and I can't fault her for that. Uh, That's actually got a really good smell to it. Ooh. And I'm not quite sure what that is, but it's it's definitely fruity. Almost citrusy. Yeah, it's not very, uh, there's no pumpkin to it really. I mean, it, there's a hint of it. Yeah. You can I catch smell it. more orange juice from it or yeah. something. It's... And that, that was one of the things that they said is mixed in shandy sometimes. Really? So this could be like a mixture of orange juice, pumpkin, and something like that within your beer. So let's give it a go. There's, that's not awful. There's that roundabout of pumpkin spice that you mm -hmm. get, mm -hmm. but not as in your face as other things. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's well rounded. It's nice. It's, it's still got that little bit of citrusy brightness to mm -hmm. it. Um, Got some excellent spice to it. Mm -hmm. like it, 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 it. It does pumpkin spice well. So if you like the taste of a pumpkin pie, this tastes like pumpkin pie in a cup. Yeah, and this is, this is doing pie. really good. And again, I think this this benefits from being a shandy um, with that, that mixture of... Oh my goodness, what is this? Uh, Lining cool. Lining cool. Harvest Patch Shandy. Uh, and as you also notice, it, it's kind of a... 
an unfiltered type look, but again, Shandy's, I think, they kind of get a pass on that mm. because it's a mixture. But yes, Because it may good. have been filtered before and it's just cloudy from whatever was added into it. Exactly. So, so we're, we're, I mean, there's really no clear definition of how they, they made this, but still, it's great. I actually like it. I actually like this a lot. See? One already. First Number one. one. Man. Bam. <coughs> Whew. Get some little pounce in here. We have a variety this time. Ooh, you like chips? You got chips. Like mm -hmm. pretzels? We got the pretzels. Oh no! <laughs> All right, let's move on to number two. You wanna grab that? You can do the honors. Next we have. Let's see, Ballast Point Brewing Company, Pumpkin Down. Pumpkin Down! Oh no! It's a Scottish ale with pumpkin. I like Scottish ales. And that's about all the information I'll find on it. Hey. <laughs> hey, and that might be all we need. <laughs> so Ballast Point, I don't recall them being at the uh, the brew fest. I think Lennon Kugel was there, but we never we never stopped by. But uh, I didn't I've never heard of them, so that's why I grabbed that one. And uh, being a Scottish ale with pumpkin. Ooh, that's dark. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Oh, that's that good red ale stuff. Look at that. Beautiful. Full. If you know that reference, I love you. <laughs> it smells like a, a, a Scottish ale, a red mm. ale. I'm not really getting any pumpkin, to be honest with you. Maybe it's in the smell, or the smell, the maybe, taste. Maybe a touch of pumpkin in the background, but not much at all mm -mm. in the so, smell. Let's go for it. Not really a lot of pumpkin at all. It's really not. It's it's really a heavy, it's it's a Scottish ale with something slightly off. Mm -hmm. Something and, I don't know what's off about it. It's just there's yeah. some flavor. Like obviously it's pumpkin, but but I think that that they they didn't add any extra spices or anything like that to give it that pumpkin spice, kind of like they did probably. But this this just seems like they took a Scottish ale and probably brewed it with some pumpkin. So there's a. a Overlaying a pumpkin somewhere, a pumpkin but it's tartness. Yeah, but it's not it's not overpowering at all. So if you kind of dig Scottish ales, I mean this isn't bad. No, I'd probably say I prefer a an actual Scottish ale without that pumpkin overlay. But no, it's not bad. So that's good. Now before we go any farther, I did want to mention I actually meant to bring this up. Before we got started, we uh, we forgot to grab it, but we have <laughs> the last couple of videos. We have given uh, the Kentucky Bourbon Barrel Ale such hell because of its disgusting flavor. I have to go on record to say that there is a chance that we actually got part of a bad batch that they are recalling. Really. So, we may have to revisit it at a later date. And reconsider it. And reconsider it. Because we did get a bad batch. I have no doubt that this is part oh. of that batch that they are recalling that was just that terrible. At least I hope it was a bad batch. Cause... I would hope. Oh. Uh, it seemed to fall into the timeline of when we had it to when they brewed it. So, I'm going to hope that maybe, just maybe, we're, we were, you know, we were wrong because we just got a bad batch yeah. and everyone who was saying oh you're crazy because we had a, bur a bourbon flavored and i can't remember who did it but it was a bourbon flavored beer at that beer festival and that was it was like bourbon really? with carbonation oh my God, and it was good that was what i expected that beer to be yeah so kentucky brewing whatever the hell your name is i'm sorry i don't care about you enough yet um We'll give you another chance in the future, but I'm glad that you're you're taking the initiative and you're getting out there and you're fixing your problem because you got the problem. Mm -hmm. All right, let me. Uh... Now this, I had a toss up between this one, mm -hmm. and I figured this is a Ace Pumpkin Hard Cider. Mm -hmm. I had a toss up Ooh. between this one. And I think it was a terrapin pumpkin cranberry. 
Really? And I was torn, but I thought since we're doing pumpkin, let's stick with pumpkin. The cranberry really got me. Like, oh, I want to try this, but nope. Let's let's stick with with pumpkin. Let's not add any extra flavors. Um, just as a, a cider, I'm guessing it's made with apples. Uh, it doesn't really say anything. Pumpkin and allspice for the fall. So, subtle aromas of pumpkin. Ideal for Halloween and Thanksgiving. Oh, -ho. Oh, -ho. oh -ho. Now I know what I'm getting for Halloween. <laughs> and Thanksgiving. And Thanksgiving. With any luck. But a pumpkin cider, it seemed, you know, it was different. It's not going to be an ale or a lager or anything like that. It's a cider. So, we could definitely be decidedly... Nice and clear. Mm -hmm. Nice amber cup. Nice. What do I call this amber? Eh. Golden. Golden. It's that bad piss we were talking about. <laughs> Where you're not very hydrated. That's what this yes. is. But I'm not saying it tastes like that. It's <laughs> not what I was color. saying. I'm just saying the color. You, you've nailed that, that color. It's the color of piss. <laughs> yeah, dark dehydrated. <laughs> Oh, we're not we're not judging yet. So let us let us taste. Add us some allspice. Oh my god! I taste no apple. Oh. I taste no pumpkin. <laughs> but there is spice. Oh, ah. it's bitter. <laughs> it's the piss of somebody who's eaten <laughs> an entire bush of allspice. God, that was so tart. Oh, tartly bitter. Oh, oh, oh! There was a bad aftertaste. Ah! <laughs> uh, this might be better warm, perhaps, but uh, I'd rather not find out right now. <laughs> oh man, I don't even know what that taste was, but it was foul. <laughs> That was, ugh. It's the smell that all of your Christmas decorations seem to accumulate. Gluten-free, I'll see you there. Uh, oh, you know what? Oh, You're getting pushed to the front right now <laughs> as front runner for Worst in Show because you just made me go bleh. I don't even know why. <laughs> Jeez. I wish I could tell you what that tasted like. I, it was almost like someone farted in my mouth. <laughs> That's how terrible it was. Uh, Oh. And that's not that's not pleasant. I don't want that. No, no if that's what you're into, you know, you might like this beer or cider. Exactly. Whatever. Some people are freaky like that. <laughs> All right. Oh, George, how about this? One? All righty. So let's see. This is Jacko Traveler Pumpkin Shandy. Oh, oh another shandy. Another shandy. Another, another shandy. Seasonal, obviously. See, a wheat ale brewed with lemon peel. Oh, with lemon peel. Okay. Nice. So it's already sounding a little different. With natural flavors and pumpkin added. All right. So it's a wheat ale. It's already kind of identified there. itself differently. So I'm not quite sure why it's a shandy, too. It sounds like a pumpkin wheat ale. Brewed with lemon. Yeah. Brewed with lemon. So I don't know. Maybe they have their reasons for calling it that. And I just, I'm, I'm not hip to it all. Now, if your pee comes out this color, go to a doctor. Yes, please. Please. We're doing you a public service right now telling you that this is not normal piss. <laughs> this is unhealthy. And you have problems. Kidney problems. You probably have stones. And if you don't, you've seen Will. Wait for it. It'll hurt. I don't know. Okay, it's got a good smell to it. At the very least, not a bad smell. Yeah, I smell more of a lemon. I think it stands mm. out. And then but not like the lemon juice, like the lemon zest. Right. And then there's, you hit that, you get past the lemon and you can smell the pumpkin. It's, that it's earthiness there. of the pumpkin. Mm. All, right. All right. That's a fight going on. <laughs> that is. It's... Because the pumpkin wants to dominate, but the lemon's not letting it. My mouth is so confused. Yeah. <laughs> And then there's that there's cinnamon. I, I don't know if you're getting that, but it's yes. it's yes, yes it's cinnamon. like sucking on a cinnamon stick. Yes, and a piece of lemon. There is absolutely no sweetness. It's like someone just went a little 
puff of cinnamon powder <coughs> stuck on my tongue right now and I'm trying to get you know some hydration and it's just not working yeah you're right no sweetness it's it's the aftertaste is that earthy pumpkin mm. taste it's not awful but I don't know if I could drink this regularly I don't know if I'd want a full bottle. You're coming in close. Oh god, we might have to have a taste test at the end for the worst. <laughs> this is a first. You're witnessing history for a show that's barely been on. <laughs> All right. What do we have next? This is, no, I've actually kind of been looking forward to this because I've seen it in the stores. It's Freak. Oktoberfest, but it is a pumpkin ale. I know it sounds like it's going to be an Oktoberfest, but they get you. This is a ale brewed with pumpkin, spices, and espresso beans. Ooh. Ooh. Freaktoberfest. Now, I learned a little something. Uh, if you've not watched our YouTube video of the, the live stream, and I think you can only read the annotations on online, so if you're, not re if you're watching on TV or your phone, you probably won't see it, so it's a little disappointing, so I'll tell you now. Um, Coney Island Brewing, they were started by a, a brewing company that we actually ran into down there called Schmaltz. Hmm. Uh, they, they like to use uh, Jewish puns for their names <laughs> for all their stuff. And I thought, hey, that was pretty cool. So they started up this little brewing company on Coney Island. Uh, they called it the world's smallest brewing company. And then actually this year they were acquired by a subsidiary of the Boston Brewing Company who is the per, uh, the uh, manufacturer of Samuel Adams. Hmm. So technically Sam Adams owns this beer. <laughs> he did it. He had to do it. Had yeah. to work Sam Adams in an episode somehow. I did. But hey, <laughs> I'm not being biased. This could suck. I don't know. I've had some Coney on the root beers and what I think they've got ginger ales and stuff like that. It's not bad. It's pretty good stuff, but it's not a common beer. I mean, they're more like, uh, what would you call them? They're not, not really wine spritzers either. But you know what I'm talking about. They're just, they're not, I, I they're not they quite beers. They're not quite beers. You know, it tastes like a root beer, but it has alcohol. It tastes like ginger ale, but it's got alcohol. It's not classified as a straight beer. You know, it's just it's like, like a, a hard soda. alcohol. There you go, a hard soda. Damn it, that was the word I was looking for. He figured it out. <laughs> so. I'm not saying this is going to be a, a hard soda. I mean, being a pumpkin ale and Oktoberfest, oh, wow. I think they're actually kind of playing with it there. Oh, so the espresso beans come out, come out in this. And this this might actually be what this is. We may have found a hybrid, a pumpkin marzen. They don't say it, but think about it. Hmm. Because we're, we're teetering that line. Before we taste this, I have to say something about this picture. <laughs> Two things. First of all, looks like a Batman villain. And second of all, the espresso beans just completely just explain his expression right now. He's wired. I think he's had too much. <laughs> and he's like, I want the espresso beans! <laughs> but yeah, the whew, espresso beans are, are strong enough and they do, they but, stand out here. But it doesn't smell like espresso beans. It smells like used coffee grounds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess, yeah. So, there we go. Not as bitter as I was expecting it. But the espresso beans really take over. There's, there's no pumpkin flavor. No. There's, there's hardly a beer flavor. You tried to make a pumpkin ale, but you used something that bitch slapped that pumpkin and said, <laughs> no. <laughs> We're going to take over. Like, I'm, 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 I'm actually considering that this might be the way I take my coffee from now on. <laughs> I mean, this is like the godfather of espresso beers they come in they just take over and then they shoot sunny <laughs> they shoot sunny or he gets shot i know the movie don't judge me <laughs> i'm trying to be smart ass and it's not working so mm. Very, it tastes like coffee yeah it's it's just 
So I'm, a, I'm I gotta say I'm a little disappointed. No. It was not what I was expecting. No. Because this is supposed to be a pumpkin show, and we just got coffee caught up right in number five. If you notice, number five always seems to be the odd man out. <laughs> I've started to notice that. I think bourbon barrel was, or the Kentucky was number five. What did we have? It cursed us. Yes, it did. It cursed us with this awful beer. All right, so maybe we can we can win the day with this last one here. Ooh. Now this one seemed interesting. This one is called Pumpkin Hunter. And this is from. It's an L breed with pumpkin and spices. Let's see, Devil's Backbone Brewing Company. Now the Devil's Backbone, uh, we actually visited them at the uh, the Nashville Brewfest, but. I forgot to stick it into the YouTube video, so if you haven't seen it, uh, I can't remember, it was like the Bravo Four Point and some porter or stout or something that we had, it was a coffee type stuff. Uh, it was half and half on that, if you want to go see that video, go to our Facebook page and follow it and you can find it there, because I'm not going to add it back to the video that I finished, I put too much work into that and I don't have time for it, so. It's got a nice color to it. And it does. It's actually, now, this, beer. yeah, this this kind of has that Marzen, that amber ale mm. look to it, and this smells amazing. I think this one's going to be good. I think this is going to redeem the last two or three because we did. We went downhill, as you can see. They're they're making a line. This one's going to have to come back some, hopefully. Hopefully, but it can suck. So we'll see. Pumpkin comes through on this one more than any of the others, but it's not it's not too heavy. Mm. Um, it's like an amber ale with a hint of pumpkin. Mm. I guess with a name like Pumpkin Hunter, I expected something a little bit more, uh, something a little heavier with yeah. the pumpkin. You know, it just it's it's a little a little misleading. The picture of the guy riding the bear, bear makes me think more. Russian Putin, but yeah, you know. <laughs> so, no, not not as bad. So it doesn't get to stack up with the other guys. But mm, I'd say out of all of them, what did, yeah, the pumpkin down. I would have to say really captured the idea of pumpkin. Not to say that this one was bad, but this one was really good too. These two really nailed that that pumpkin flavor. Mm. Uh, this one's a little, I think this one was a bit more, uh, this one was sweeter than that definitely, one was. Definitely. But this one still had the pumpkin flavor that just that, that just kind of stood out. So yeah. it kind of helped it. But from like on, this one's the beer that you eat with Thanksgiving, that you drink, eat, good lord, that you drink with Thanksgiving <laughs> dinner. And this is the one you drink with Thanksgiving dessert. That's right. But as for the rest of these, this one wasn't bad. But would you agree this one? Oh, yes. Our cider. Okay, the one that I could have gotten the cranberry. You see what happened? You just won Worst in Show. Ace Pumpkin Hard Cider. You may have some good stuff, but your pumpkin cider is not one of them. So, I'm sorry, but that's the breaks here. This is how we judge, and you can go to hell if you don't like it. So, just three more episodes till we have a Worst in Show uh, video. That's right, people. So, as you can see, we have tried some pumpkin. There's probably a few more out on the market. Uh, I'm gonna plug Sam Adams one more time. <laughs> 20 pounds of pumpkin. I tried it. It was pretty good. It replaced their other Harvest Pumpkin Ale. It was great. It, it was pumpkiny. Hey man, I'm shooting here in his loud truck. You see, and you got all these bugs now. This is what happens when you shoot outside. But it felt great out here. It this does. is this is so great to, to actually be able to do this. Hopefully we can do this more often outside because I enjoyed it out here. Mm -hmm. um, but worst in show. Pumpkin, if it's your thing, go for it. If it's not, as you as you heard, he kind of dug the shandy. Really good. If you want to try something that's a little bit more pumpkin spice, go for this. Uh, as far as the rest of them, don't bother. <laughs> uh, I hate to say that. Unless you're into espresso, and then shoot, go for it. That is your coffee. Like he said, just I'm, it, it should have been uh, espresso ale because there's no pumpkin yes, there's in no that. Pumpkin I don't give a damn all. what it says. But this is our show. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching us drink these beers as much as we enjoyed drinking them for you. Some of them. Some of them. <laughs> Go out and try these beers for yourself. Let us know what you think. Comment, like, watch, view, share, all of the above that you can do on YouTube. Be random, people.